Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm gonna be doing a preview of GitHub's new text editor, Atom. And here I am at atom.io, and feel free to check out this website. This is what it's gonna be looking like if you come here without uh, any sort of invite or anything like that. If you are lucky enough to get an invite, it's going to be a big green download button right here. Uh, and I would totally recommend throwing your in uh, your email in here and requesting a beta invite. It's really awesome to come play around with. I'm actually a huge fan of this text editor so far. So what this isn't going to be is it's not going to be a tutorial, and it's not going to be the start of a proper tutorial series, not at least until Adam is officially released. What's good about this is I get some time to play around with it before it's officially released and uh, then I can make sure that I cover absolutely all of the features and everything because Atom is really cool and I can't wait for it to be out of beta. I'm gonna be a day one purchaser, I can tell you that. Um, and there was a lot of hype behind it and I certainly think it lives up to the hype. Now, as somebody who's been using Sublime Text, you might look at some of these screenshots and they might look really familiar. In fact, it does look a lot like Sublime Text, but what's awesome about Atom is that everything is with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So you wanna write your color scheme or you wanna configure the way it looks, all you have to do is override some CSS or write your own. Now, it's also cool because you can use the web inspector that you're used to from Chrome inside of Atom to truly see what exactly you're modifying. Okay, so you can read all this stuff yourself. Check it out, go to the FAQ. It's important from the FAQ to note that right now it only runs on OS X 10.8 or later, although Windows and Linux releases are on the roadmap, and when it is released, it's probably going to cost something. It says competitively, competitively priced. I'm sure it is not going to be crazy expensive or anything. Uh, most text editors aren't really that, you know, outrageously priced. So. I am lucky enough to have a beta invite. I have downloaded Atom and I have opened it up. So when you open up Atom, this is what you get. Uh, welcome to Atom Beta. And it gives you some uh, you know, steps right here. So the first thing, it just lets you know that this is free during the beta period, which I'm totally cool with. I'm happy to beta test this and try it out. Now. It says Command Shift P is the one keystroke you're going to want to remember. What's great about that is if you've used Sublime Text before, Command Shift P should be already second nature. Uh, command Shift P is the same command to bring up your command palette in Sublime Text. Now it tells you to type Markdown in here as a test, and when you type Markdown, uh, the first one that pops up here is this Preview Show. Now this is really excellent because what it does is it actually gives you a preview of the markdown completely rendered. Now, if you'll notice, I'm gonna add a second asterisk to here and then save this. Upon saving it, it updates this to an H2 and um, add a couple more, yeah, H4. Um, and if you're not familiar with Markdown, that's cool. I highly suggest you learn it because it's a nice little shorthand for uh, producing uh, readme files or all sorts of stuff. In fact, I even like uh, Markdown and text editors. There's a blogging platform, Ghost, that uses Markdown as its default text editor for users to write blog posts, and I really enjoy that. Okay, so number three, it says they want your feedback, and down here in the bottom corner, there's a send feedback button. Um, they wanna know what you think about this text editor. They wanna know how it can be improved. Um, and so, uh, to get started with Markdown a little bit more, or uh, Atom a little bit more, I'm actually gonna drop in a folder, just like we would into Sublime Text to open it as a project. Okay, and now I'm gonna expand this. And what you'll see here is we have some helpful hints in the menu here. It says you can focus on the tree view with uh, Control and then zero. So when you hit control zero, it focus toggles between the tree view on the left, which is your project view and the coding area in the center. Um, and it'll keep uh, cycling different tips here. One thing I really like about this is the command uh, backslash hides the tree view nice and quick. 
and uh, it's it's just really cool. Uh, and you'll notice that like the Sublime Text 3, if you click on an image, it actually opens it up here instead of just having uh, code. And other than that, we have our sort of basic what you'd expect from a text editor. Here we have a markdown file. Again, I can do Command Shift P and get that preview to show. It's just really awesome. I, I really love the markdown preview. In fact, I've been using an app called Mao. It's like M-O-U to give live previews of Markdown because I like to see the way it's looking when I'm typing it. Uh, it's really great to have this in a text editor. Now, what else do we have here? You'll notice that uh, our code is color coded. It's using the Atom color, um, I think I believe it's called the Atom color scheme. We'll find out in a second. Uh, and you can see it's nice and styled already. You know, we have nice color hinting and everything that syntax highlighting. We come to a style.scss, and you'll notice that out of the box, it's coming with uh, a SCSS syntax highlighting, which is something that you typically had to go grab on Sublime Text. It's not a huge deal either way, but it's just nice and easy that it's already coming in here. Now, one thing we want to do is I want to look at the configuration. So if we go to preferences, you'll notice that um, preferences in Sublime Text is all just JSON files. And that's quite all right. It's really not that hard. But a lot of people would be scared off by a JSON file as a configuration, especially if they've never seen a JSON file or edited or really know what to do with it. So I really like that Atom has a full-fledged interface for configuring your files. Um, it has your key bindings, packages where you can easily search and install packages from here. Um, in fact, there's things like Vim mode. Uh, there's code linters and stuff like that. Um, you can even see things that are already installed down here. Uh, and of course, you can open their readmes, report an issue. You can check out their GitHub page. Um, it's just really a nice experience overall. And even though it is a beta, there's things here and there. Uh, I really have been enjoying uh, my time with Adam so far, and I really can't wait to see what comes out of it, right? So if you click on themes, we now just have a drop down and we can say the UI theme is changing the way the tabs and the, the tree look and everything like that. Um, or the syntax theme, of course, is going to be the uh, code, code hinting or the uh, syntax highlighting and everything. And if you want your classic Monokai, you can install Monokai just like you're used to on Sublime Text. Now you look, it's installed. You can select Monokai from here and we have the classic Monokai color scheme. Now, one thing I really love about Adam is that let's say I I like Monokai, but the background here, I really wish this background was just a shade darker of gray. I can come in here and click at Adam at the top, uh, come down to open your style sheet, and this is the style sheet that is styling uh, Adam itself. And in here, all I have to say is uh, for the editor is background um, and then I can give this a value of like 111 save it and the instant I save it it's already darker and likewise with tree view I can come in here and do the same now if I wanted to like figure out how to change this color of blue or something like that you can open up the standard chrome inspect by doing command uh, I think it's command option I and that brings up your inspect like you you know you're used to and then you can come in here and find the classes and everything like that and extend it even further it's awesome I'm a big fan um, if you can't tell so this is adam.io I hope you like this preview. If there's anything else you want to see out of it, I'd be happy to do a more elaborate video or go into some features more in depth. Uh, but I'm really excited. I'm excited to get to, to using it so that I can bring you a great Atom tutorial series and you can know everything there is to do about it and uh, experience it for yourself when it comes out or when you get a beta invite. So put your email in there, get a beta invite and check it out.
I have no idea how many invites they're giving out to test this thing. You might not even get one. I have no idea. Uh, so, likewise, if you have any questions, leave a comment on this. Hit us up on the Level Up forum. Uh, I'll tell you anything you want to know about my experience with Adam so far. So thanks for watching. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook on Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. And I'd like to mention that to celebrate Level Up Tuts' third year, uh, this is uh, we started in March 2012, so this is the start of the Level Up Tuts third year. We now have officially launched Level Up Pro. Now, you don't have to be, uh, you know, it's, it's a paid account for Level Up Tuts that gives you some additional features. Um, I'm gonna do a video on this, so you'll have to check out that video to learn more about Level Up Pro, but come to leveluptuts.com slash level uh, hyphen up hyphen pro, or just come to the homepage and click on the see the features. Uh, then you can sign up or choose not to sign up, whatever. Uh, like I said, in the next video, I'm gonna explain a lot more about Level Up Pro, but check it out. Uh, it, I'm really excited about it, and it's the total future of Level Up Tuts. It's awesome. So as always, this is Scott Talinsky, and thanks for watching. Bye.